Good evening, everyone. Today is Africa Day. And when many people think of Africa, they think of poor, they think of people struggling, they think of people that don't know how to govern, they think of many negative things. When I see Africa, I see opportunity. Um, I see endless resources. I see people that are the most resilient in the world. I see people separated from the problems of the rest of the world. I see people that want to be free. And I see people that don't want to compete with the rest of the world for weapons that can destroy humanity. And that makes up Southern Africa and the African continent very special and unique. And I'm really privileged to have been born here and raised here on this continent, at the southern tip of this continent especially. And on Africa Day, I want you to just think about how privileged we are to be living on not only such a beautiful continent, but such a diverse continent, where the majority of people don't care for this new order that's been created amongst us, where the majority of people don't care about the Bill Gates's, where they don't care about all the people that want to be popular out there, where most of them don't even care about the politicians, what they think, and where people have to focus mainly on the five things for survival. And this has been Africa's mainstay. The fact that they've always had to have water to drink, food to eat, something to shelter them with, uh, any form of energy that they could find. And the last thing is something to keep them sane. And through culture and their beliefs, they've managed to do this for centuries. And if you look at the African continent, it is Africa's time to shine. And in a world where people have gone to the point where they believe that artificial intelligence will become better than humans and create something that will dis destroy their very existence. The people in Africa carry on without a care in the world, don't care about artificial intelligence. Most of them don't care even about the means by which artificial intelligence is implemented. And as I've always said, if the largest war in the world had to break out, there will be people in Africa that will be oblivious to that war, won't even know that it's happening, won't even know that they might be the only people remaining on this planet by the time that it's done, and couldn't care less about many of the things that you are stressing about every single day of your life. Because they actually stress about the five things that they need to survive, and as long as they have those things, they are blissfully happy. They don't need money. They don't need any of the things we've been fooled to slave our lives away on. I really want to be thankful today for the fact that I live on the African continent and amongst people that have taught me so much when it comes to survival. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till the next video.